Hi, this is video three in a series that I'm putting together on troubles, issues and things that people are spoken about when trying to write a Judge and Neighbour worksheet. I love today's because I've sat in this one myself quite often. So our issue here is, um, as the person writes it, sometimes I start turning the situation around in my head as I'm writing the judge and neighbor worksheet and I get resentful as in she was mean to me fine I was mean to her I get it I'm a jerk but why am I always the one that has to change so what I noticed for me is when I'm in this space this is me being my victim and I so love being in my victim space because it's safe it feels safe for me when I get into that space and for starters I'm writing the judge and neighbor worksheet with a motive because it's my story is I have to change that's why I'm writing the judge and neighbor worksheet what I notice for me is that I have a lot of emotion sitting in this space and I'm generally feeling really hurt and all I want to do is cry and I won't allow myself to cry and so from that space, then my victim comes out as my protector. So the best thing I found is to sit and have a cry, have a good cry, get it out of my system. And then it allows me to sit in the space of looking at the situation in a more objective way, getting in touch with what was going on for me in the moment. Yes, the emotion. Yes, I've expressed it doesn't mean I still can't write about it on my judge and neighbor worksheet. Then I will sit, go back to the situation, find the moment, capture the emotion, the word for the emotion to describe the emotion, and then write out the rest of my judge and neighbor worksheet. Hope this has been of help.